If you follow these seven steps, you'll learn how to fix your airdrop if you're experiencing any problems. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips. It's very frustrating when you want to just transfer over some files from your iPhone to your Mac and you're experiencing problems. Now, there could be a couple reasons why that may be. It could be a problem of just distance. Your two devices have to be within 30 feet of each other without any obstruction for airdrop to work correctly. You also have to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on. Or it could be the age of the software that your Mac is running on. But regardless of what it may be, I have a question for you. When you are having airdrop problems, what are you experiencing? Are you experiencing an error message or is it just lagging, hanging in there and nothing is happening? Comment down below so you could help others out as well. So first off, we're going to check if airdrop is even enabled on both of our devices. On our Mac, let's go to Finder and then the top left corner, go to airdrop. And right over here, we're going to click the drop down menu over here and we're going to either select contacts only or everyone. Either of these two options will enable airdrop on your Mac. I selected contacts only so that I don't have any strangers sending me files without my permission and on our iphone we're going to drag down the top right corner hold down the bluetooth option and in the bottom left corner you'll see airdrop as well just like our mac you want it either on contacts only or everyone for 10 minutes make sure that it's not on off next you want to make sure that both of your devices are on the same network so in the top right corner click the wi-fi button over here and check that your wi-fi is on and your no network and on your iphone swipe the top right corner Hold down the Wi-Fi button, make sure that your Wi-Fi is on, and the check mark should be next to the same network name as it is on your Mac. After you've done that, make sure that your devices are close enough together. Remember, you need to be within 30 feet of each other. And if it's still not working, we're going to run maintenance scripts on an app called Clean My Mac X. So from the homepage of this app, I'm going to go to maintenance. So we're going to run a task called run maintenance scripts. And what that can do is improve the performance of your Mac by removing and rotating old log files, rebuilding and reorganizing select databases on your Mac and running other general maintenance tasks. It makes all the complex sounding stuff simple. I'm going to click on run maintenance scripts and run that task. And with just one click, Clean My Mac X made sure that all of my maintenance problems are squared away and resolved. If you want, there's a download link in the description box below to get you started. I highly recommend this program. The next thing we're going to do is to turn off our personal hotspot. So go to settings, go to cellular, personal hotspot, and turn that off. After that, we're going to turn on and off our Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on both of our devices. On our Mac, we're going to go to the top right corner to the control center. We're going to click off off and then click back on both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. And we're going to repeat the same on our iPhone, drag the top right corner down, tap both of these blue icons for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and reboot them. And the last thing to check is if your Mac OS and your iOS are up to date. So on our Mac, we're going to go to settings. And if you see any update available, you should go ahead and do that now. On our iPhone, we're going to go to settings, scroll down to general, software update. And currently, I have an iOS update that I should run right now, and you should do the same if that is available to you. And just as a bonus, if you need any help freeing up RAM on your Mac, you should click the link right here. This video will get you started. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips.